Um, let's see how where they'll go. FD again. Today's an FD day. Falco has a lot of good options to uh, control the ledge, especially against uh, Falcon. Just get him off stage. I was waiting for him to buffer a down air. All right. Red team having a little bit more footing. Uh, Sunny at kind of high percentage. He needs to start watching out, especially against knees. Wow. Good call by Scry, not only recovering, but able to uh, reset Falcon with the uh, Firefox there. Blue team just kind of holding off safe on the left side. Well, gang up on Elder. Down throw, not a bad option, especially on FD, because uh, then you have the option to read the uh, tech roll. Sunny trying to throw in some disruption, sending some lasers coming through. They have a really great opportunity. Uh, Falco off stage, but the dash attack box at the ledge is not bad because it extends past the ledge. So if you don't per perfectly sweet spot from underneath, it can pick you up. Red team getting a little bit more of a footing. Uh, blue team has to kind of force their way in. Now they're pushed on the ledge. I was waiting for Falcon to try to back throw. Scry was waiting there for an opportunity to up smash. Especially since uh, all the blue teams are at a low percentage so Falcon is not coming back. Oh. What do I know? Excellent spacing with the forward smash. Great tech by Scry. Holding on to his life for a little bit longer. But a simple nair is going to put him in a really bad position there. Elder, excellent awareness, uh, covering tournament winner from ledge. Battery not getting too aggressive there at the ledge, opting to uh, stay at a safe distance. I love when uh, both spaces shine at the same time, because uh, the hitboxes kind of cancel each other out. Excellent choice with the Nair from Sunny. Um, the weak hitbox not getting a little bit closer, opening up more opportunity to get follow-ups. Scry trying to uh, run in there and get some uh, disruption. Okay, Scry opting to uh, kind of wave dash back instead of going for the... Uh... Wow! Great read by Sunny. He jumped up and then waited to throw out the down air, knowing that Scry was going to jump up into it. Here's an opportunity. Excellent sharking by Scry. Picking up an up smash, evening out the stocks. Battery both needs to be aggressive, but also safe, but not pulling back too far. I was expecting a jab there to reset him. Uh, Fox jab is pretty safe. Jab. I like using the laser. Back air, that's going to clutch it out. Team, once in a blue sun, taking game one. I think in that case, um, I feel like with Scry and Battery, they are they're going for opportunities a little bit more independently, which, if you outplay them 1v1 throughout the whole match, can be advantageous. However, Sunny is doing an excellent job of controlling the Sage and reacting with his lasers, uh, getting key opportunities to land down airs, and Elder is just playing really solid. Pokemon is an excellent choice. Battery breaking out his own Fox. I believe he will be the light colored Fox. The Sage is definitely in favor of the red team. The low ceiling favoring Fox's ability to kill off the top. Battery being aware, uh, going there and trying to save his teammate. An excellent uh, dash dancing from Battery as well. Baiting the down air from uh, Sunny and able to uh, punish with a grab.
Wow. Battery finding uh, these opportunities again, getting that early uh, up smash off the top. Back air at ledge, almost, but that works almost as well. I was expecting the back air, especially uh, if invincible from the ledge. Back air is excellently safe. Shine, a lot of percentage there on Falco quick, in quick succession. Awareness by Elder, throwing in a forward air to break up uh, any potential follow-ups from the Foxes. Elder in a very bad situation. <laughs> Both foxes rising up to try to go for the up air. Great positioning from the blue team there. Uh, Sunny taking the ledge, uh, waiting for opportunities to down air while Elder punishes anyone going on to stage. Alright. So far, red team is still leading in stocks. It's a dangerous situation for Sunny, but I think he's going to be able to get out of there. Okay. I think he wanted to go over the Sheik and then be able to punish the battery for uh, throwing it, but get caught by his teammate. No. Okay. Even Fox can't recover from that. In that case, Elder, would, again, I feel like Elder might not be able, it might not be worth it to try to pursue his teammate to try to save him. Because especially at Elder's high percentage, uh, he's putting himself at a high risk uh, with minimal chance of reward coming from him. Great angle by Scry, avoiding all the pressure Elder was putting on him at the ledge. Bad position for Sunny. That was a really scary. Uh, spot for him to end up in. He ended up uh, spot dodging and falling down to his death. This is, uh, this is going to be a, a challenge. Okay. And forward throw. Okay. I think uh, Battery was waiting for the forward throw. That's all right, Scry just letting himself fall down. They're still at a significant advantage. It's game, it's game two. Yeah, oh, uh, blue team won game one. I feel like they can go in a little bit more. Even though that's that's gonna be it. All right. So Elder uh, diing inwards towards Sage, uh, getting picked up by the Fox ups up there. All right. That was an excellent adaptation by uh, the red team there. Aaron opted to go. Fox as well uh, allows him to get a lot more rushdown, and he's not getting walled out as much because uh, Fox has a few more options to approach Falco. Yeah. Batteries. Howdy, gamers. How are you doing? There you go. So this batteries Fox. Yep. You see a uh, light colored one. I've heard things about this Fox. It's about to get back row down. It is. <laughs> He's about to get back row down. Falco's, Falco's like a double-edged sword for doubles, because he ideally has some of the most cheap kills in this like just game mode, but he also dies so early. God. Yeah. Falco embodies the, uh, the term of glass cannon, because as you see there, dead, no other options for cover. Yeah, it was kind of low percent. He but, just got like, sort of just like, the back air wasn't really that strong, but he was just gone. Yeah. I have seen some crazy setups where Falco is able to set up for early kills or just down air people at 50% and that's all you need sometimes. 
Elder's doing the, the chic thing. Where you just sort yep. of like stay in your ledge, play it safe. But he's, <laughs> he's getting up in there. He's taking position. Somebody's uh, he's backing up a little bit more this game. I think this shows a little bit of uh, Elder's stronger suits because I normally know him as a degenerate tech chaser, but here he is showing some space. Oh, great pickup by Scry. Oh, totally. Oh. Okay. Sometimes you just get got. It happens. You don't think it'd be like it is, but then it do. I think, uh, is that a quote from my favorite baseball player, Rusty Cunts? Uh, that's a man. I, like a I, I don't know the source, but I'll believe it if it was. I know, I know it's real. I've definitely seen that quote before. We'll do some research after the matches. All right. I'm pretty sure it was Rusty Cunts, though. <laughs> It's one of those names that, like, your parents were just like, damn it, what the hell do we name our kid with this kind of last name? Well, I mean, like, his... First off, you gotta have the last name, Cunts. Ooh, oh, man. He, that was such a... That was such an unfortunate thing, because, like, that was the right decision. Wow. That was a great angle, though. Right? He baited them, uh, Elder to try to throw out the forward air, but, uh, ended up killing his teammate there. Cheek backer is huge. It's about to be death. Oh, that leg the wrong angle. stays out there for so long. Yeah. Yeah, oh. smash. We got ourselves a match. I love when a Falco just decides not to care and just charge forward smash after he throws you. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, you're gonna, you're dumb. I don't trust you. It's like, you you know that they're gonna uh, go the wrong direction. Well, they're gonna go direction get around you, but they might not. Get him, get him. Yo, don't you get a match? I'm ultimate. What's up? Check uh, check your bracket. Good uh, falling back by Sunny. We have here. This is oddly even. Check your check the other tab. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Hold on. This game is close. Okay. That was good DI by uh, Elder going further away. Getting picked up by the fire, though. He wants that. Elder being aware, just throwing oh, some uh, needles, punishing him for that. Oh. Just grab ledge, up tilt. I was hoping he would up tilt into up air, potentially. Up forward. Oh. Wow. Forward air. <laughs> no, fo no back air came out. They're both choking so hard. That uh. smash, that's gonna get it. He just literally... Is that the set? That that's is the set. The set. Bisexual loses to Once in a Blue Sun. What that was that? Tight battles. Tight battle. Tight, tight, tight. Like Tuco. I almost thought that was my controller because I have silver too. That one's yours, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I agree, Ro. He really could have just charged that up smash. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.